Hi everyone, we're so excited that you've come to join us for Home Time with Robbie and Susie. Today, we are looking at all things Easter. It's just around the corner and we can't wait to learn with you. Hi, I'm Robbie. Hi, I'm Susie. Hi, I'm Miss Carly, the teacher. It's time for Home Time with Robbie and Susie. I have hands. Watch me clap. Watch me clap. Oh, what a miracle am I. I have feet. I have feet. Watch me stand. Watch me stand. Oh, what a miracle am I. Oh, what a miracle. Oh, So very special, there's nobody quite like me. I have arms, I have arms. Watch me swing, watch me swing. Oh, what a miracle am I! I have legs, I have legs. They can bend and stretch. They can bend and stretch. Oh. So very special, there's nobody quite like me. I have a spine, I have a spine, it can twist and bend, it can twist and bend. Oh, what a miracle am I! I have a one foot, I have a one foot, watch me balance. excited that you're here to come with us today. We are talking about all things Easter and we have a song about our ears. This song talks about our ears being nice and long. Tie them in a bow. Are your ears that long? Well today we're going to try. Stand up and let's sing together. Are you ready? Do your ears hang low? Do they wobble to and fro? Can you tie them in a knot? Can you tie them in a bow? Can you throw them over your shoulder like a continental soldier? Do your ears hang low? Do your ears hang low? Do they wobble to and fro? Can you tie them in a knot? Can you tie them in a bow? Can you throw them over your shoulder like a continental soldier? Do your ears hang low? So excited you're coming. Let's go see what's next. Wow, what a great song about bunny ears. Do you know what? In my story today, there's some bunnies in it. It's called, Guess How Much I Love You. Oh, it looks like she's got some floppy ears too. Let's see what happens in the story. Guess how much I love you. Little nut brown hair, who was going to bed, held on tight to big nut brown hair's very long ears. He wanted to be sure that big nut brown hair was listening. Guess how much I love you, he said. Oh, I don't think I could guess that, said big nut brown hair. Much, said little nut brown hair, stretching out his arms as wide as they could go. Oh, look how big they're being stretched out. Oh, oh my goodness. 
big nut brown hair had even longer arms. But I love you this much, he said. Hmm, that is a lot, thought little nut brown hair. <gasps> Can you stretch your arms that wide? Oh. I love you as high as I can reach, said little nut brown hair. <gasps> He's now reaching his arms up all the way to the sky. I love you as high as I can reach, said big nut brown bear. <gasps> He's now reaching up even higher. This is quite high, thought little nut brown hair. I wish I had arms like that. His arms are a little bit little, aren't they? Then little nut brown hair had a good idea. He tumbled upside down and reached up the tree trunk with his feet. Oh, he's upside down. I love you all the way to my toes, he said. And I love you all the way up to your toes, said Big Nut Brown Hair, swinging him up over his head. Oh, that's a bit funny. I love you as high as I can hop, laughed Little Nut Brown Hair, bouncing up and down, up and down, up and down. But I love you as high as I can hop, smiled Big Nut Brown Hair, and he hopped so high that his ears touched the branches above. Uh-oh. That's good hopping, thought Little Nut Brown Hair. I wish I could hop like that. I love you all the way down the lane as far as the river, cried Little Nut Brown Hair. I love you across the river and over the hills, said Little Nut Brown Hair. That's not very far, thought Little Nut Brown Hair. He was almost too sleepy to think of any more. Then he looked beyond the thorn bushes out into the big dark night. Nothing could be further than the sky. I love you right up to the moon, he said, and closed his eyes. Oh, that's far, said Big Nut Brown Hair. That is very far. Can you see if you're looking up at the moon in the night sky? Big Nut Brown Hair settled Little Nut Brown Hair into his bed of leaves. He leaned over and kissed him goodnight. Then he lay down close by and whispered with a smile, I love you right up to the moon and back. What a beautiful story. I loved all the ways that they were saying how they loved each other, that they were stretching their arms up and they were jumping about. I have a song where we can get up and we can jump out a bit. Would you like to stand up with me and have a go? So I have a song for you today, and it's a song to Hokey Pokey, but I've changed the words around a little bit, and we're gonna be bunnies this time. So it goes like this. So we've gotta get some bunnies, ready? You put your bunnies in, you put your bunnies out, you put your bunnies in, and you shake them all about. You do the bunny hop, and you hop around. That's what it's all about. We're gonna do our nose next, ready? You put your bunny nose in, you put your bunny nose out, you put your bunny nose in, and you shake it all about. You do the bunny hop and you hop around. That's what it's all about. This time we're doing our paws, ready? You put your bunny paws in, you put your bunny paws out, you put your bunny paws in, and you shake them all about. You do the bunny hop and you hop around. That's what it's all about. 
Now we're gonna do our tails, ready? You put your cotton tail in, you put your cotton tail out, you put your cotton tail in, and you shake it all about. You do the bunny hop and you hop around. <laughs> That's what it's all about. Now we're gonna put our whole bunny body in, ready? You put your bunny body in, you put your bunny body out, you put your bunny body in, and you shake it all about. You do the bunny hop, and you hop around. That's what it's all about. Oh, did you have fun being bunnies? I had lots of fun being bunnies. But I think it's time for us to go and see what Anna's got. She's got a fun experience for us to do. So let's go see what's at the table. Come on, friends. Stacey, thank you so much for reading that beautiful book from Big Brown hair he loves little brown hair so so much so exciting to hear and that song i loved it with our ears and our nose thank you so I much i liked the ears the best too it was <laughs> fun jumping around i had so much fun jumping with you it's tiring jumping around like bunnies but it was good fun <laughs> awesome well hey now we would like to make some easter cards you will need some paper it can be any color you like I'm going to make one type of card and Stacey's going to make a different one. So for my card, if you want to join in with me, you need just any paint you can find, some tape you can find, a pair of scissors, and that's it. What about you? Oh, for my one, I'm going to use paper too, but for something different, I'm going to use some of my crayons, my glue stick, and just anything I've got around at home. So it could be some tissue paper, it could even be wrapping paper that you could cut up into little pieces, magazines. And I'm gonna do like a collage, so something a little bit different. Could they even use some of the wrapping from their Easter eggs? <gasps> That's a great idea. That would be so fun and that would make your Easter card very bright. Yes. I love that idea. Well, so to start, we need to get our piece of paper and fold it in half. So you get the corners nice and square. Then you bring your fingers this way and use your thumb to make it nice and sharp. And now you have a card. Look at that. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is get our tape. We're going to make a cross. So a cross goes this way and this way. And so we're going to get one piece of tape, pull it out, put it on our card. Now this tape is going to mean that when I paint, there'll be still a white piece on, on my card still. So I'm just going to cut this. And then I'm going to get a smaller piece, put it on my card like this. I'll show you in just one minute. So when you're finished, you should have a cross shape. I made a cross shape for my Easter because this is where Jesus died and then rose again at Easter time. That's why we celebrate Easter. So then I get my paint, any colour, I'm going to start with yellow, it looks gooey and ooey, and I paint all over my card, wherever I like. I can paint in straight lines, I'm going to get some blue. And you can paint over your tape, can you? Yes, I've been painting over my paint, then I'm going to do some squiggly lines, squiggle, squiggle, squiggle. Look. The blue and the yellow are mixing together. Do you know what colour that makes, Stacey? I think you're making the colour green. Oh, I might be. Then I'm going to get my pink paint. I'm just going to finish. I'm going to make sure it goes on the edge of the tape. So I'm just making, going right round the edge. So that I've got all those pieces. I could put paint everywhere. I might put a little bit more paint. You see, all over my paper, a little bit over here, a little bit over there. Okay. And then next, you carefully peel the tape off your card this way. <gasps> oh my goodness! <gasps> that looks fantastic! Yes, I'm going to put it up to dry and then I'm going to write it 
to one of my friends staying at home and I can't see them so I miss them and I'm going to send it to them and say happy Easter. That looks fantastic and I love the way when you peeled the tape out it left a big beautiful white cross. That looks super fun. Thanks Stacey, what are you going to do? So I'm going to do a different sort of card. So I'm still going to use my white paper. And just like Anna said, we're going to put it all the way to the two edges. And then we're going to push it nice and flat along oh, the edge, just like that. But I might do my card this way, so it's a little bit different. So you could keep it upright, or you could put it side, and we call that landscape. And what I'm going to do is, I think I'm just going to do some Easter eggs. But I'm going to use my texter and I'm going to draw a big Easter egg shape. And then I might do another one as well. That looks good, Stacey. Oh, I've got to keep a very steady hand. And I've done a little egg. I might even write up the top. Happy. Easter. You might like to try and write that yourself or maybe someone in your family can help you do that or you could write whatever message you like. But for my one I'm going to use my glue stick. I'm going to go glue, glue, glue and I'm just putting glue oh, just inside my egg shape. And then look I'm going to use all my pretty cellophane. I've got some green cut up. Put another one there. Looking good. Oh, this is going to be a bright Easter egg. But as we said, you could use anything at home. You might even use some foil if you've got some foil in the cupboard. Magazine. Might, magazines. Oh, you've even got a putty case in here, Stacey. Oh, wow. I'm going to keep this one cellophane and maybe we could use a patty pan for my little egg. Good idea. Good thinking. So similar, see how I've overlapped all my pieces. It's starting to make some different greens and some different colours. And then for the other side, I'm going to use my glue stick again and go glue, 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 glue. And I think I am going to use the fun cut up patty pans. Oh, and I've got some tissue paper. Oh, <gasps> got another green one. I wonder if I can find a different color. Mm, I think I've only got green in here, but that's okay. Green, red. Stick, stick, stick. Oh, I just might need a little bit more glue there. And I might put blue on this time. We haven't used any blue. Stick and stick. Looking and look good. how simple and easy that is to do at home. And do you know what, Anna? Just like you, I'm going to write a lovely message in mine and I'm going to post it in the mail to my nan because I don't get to see my nan over Easter and I think this will make her feel so loved, just like the bunnies in our story. Yeah. And I'm going to get my. Um, adults at home to help me get a stamp so we can send that on. What a great idea. Yeah. So maybe at home you could make one of these cards and for a card that you'd like, you could even make a different shape with the masking tape and still paint over the top of it. You could draw other things on this card and then maybe you could send it to a friend. You could even just take a photo and send it to your friend through one of your family's phones or another way that's a great idea or maybe you have a friend at preschool yeah and maybe you could send it through to yeah. one of your teachers yeah I'm sure they would love to receive a card yeah. from you and it's a great way that we can be kind and show love to the, those people we care about that's right so we hope you have lots of fun making some fun cards and showing the people around you how much you love them thanks for coming see you next time bye <laughs>